Hey everybody, it's Nick with the Base Channel, and today we're taking a look at dark glass cabinets. So, I have a couple different amplifiers I use. My main one is this big Ampeg SVT Classic, which I love, it's got a 410 cab. And then I have a Fender Rumble 500 as my like kind of smaller, more portable rig. But it's been really gigged and kind of beat up and I'm looking for something to replace it. But the kicker is that I wanted to get something kind of nice, right? I've been playing for a long time and I was looking for something that's of a similar size, maybe, but that still sounds really, really good. So today, we're taking a look at Dark Glass. So the cabinets we're looking at behind me are from the new Neodymium series. We have a 210, a 410, a 112, and a 212. So what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be playing a couple of my different basses. Uh, I brought a few, PE bass, jazz bass, whatever, and we're gonna be plugging it into the wiretap so we can take that exact moment in time and then we're gonna reamp it through these different cabinets. So you'll be able to hear all the different speaker characteristics but with that same bass and attack for each note. By the way, the head we're running in is the Dark Glass Microtubes 900 V1. It's my old head with some new caps. We're using the Electro Voice RE20 to mic the cabinets for the up close. And then we're also using the Sennheiser MKH416 shotgun microphone for the room set about six feet back, which the Sennheiser is the one right there. Starting with the DG410N, its frequency response is 36 hertz to 15 kilohertz, four ohm impedance, a thousand watts, and it's only 22.2 kilograms, and in freedom units, that's 48.94 pounds. For the DG210N, it's got a frequency response of 43 hertz to 15 kilohertz, eight ohms, 500 watts, and weighs 33.51 pounds. It's like 33 and a half. A 112 has a frequency response of 36 hertz to 15 kilohertz, eight ohm impedance, 500 watts, and is about 27.6 pounds. The DG212N has a frequency response of 36 hertz to 15 kilohertz, four ohm impedance, a thousand watts, and it weighs 43.43 pounds according to tech specs. 43, 43, I like that. All right, let's wrap it up. Final thoughts. Um, obviously, they all sound pretty good, right? Um, uh, there were some that I definitely liked more than others. The 410 I thought was awesome. It pushed so much air. But truthfully, that's not really what I'm looking for for this application because I already have a 410. I'm leaning toward the 210 because that's the same size of what I have already for my little combo amp that really worked. The, the 12 size was probably my least favorite, but it still sounded really good. There's actually a bit of an argument going on in the room right now, whether we like the 10s or the 12s more, because they totally have their merit, right? I really wanted to like the 112 the most because I'm just gonna go XLR out into the house. I wanted something kind of small. So at the end of the day, your mileage is gonna vary. What works best for you is not gonna work best for me. I liked the 210 the most for my application, but that definitely doesn't discredit the 212 or even the 112. 
Um, yeah. So again, your mileage may vary if you have the opportunity to play some of these. Otherwise, listen back to the video, try to figure out which one was your favorite. Um, anyway, long and short, I hope you guys liked the video. Um, Awesome, I'm so stoked that I got this opportunity to do this. Um, I guess that brings it close. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all have a good one, and we'll see you guys next time.